Hi everyone, my name is Somil Vora. I'm a senior solutions architect here at Wasabi. Today we're going to show you a video that goes over the steps on how to configure Veeam backup and replication software with Wasabi. This is the Veeam backup and replication console. Now before we do a deep dive into the steps, I just want to quickly show you the software version we're using. We are using the version 9.5 update 4 as you can see. We will have a different video for version 10, so please do look out for that. All right, let's get back to the steps. The first thing I wanted to show you is the inventory tab. This is the VM that I plan to back up in this video. If you haven't added this, you can do it simply by clicking on virtual infrastructure and then add server. You just have to add your credential, the IP address or domain name, and it should pop up here. The next step is the backup infrastructure tab. And here we're going to add the repositories. The first repository we add is the local storage. So I'm going to click on direct attach storage. Since I'm using a Windows server, I'm going to click on Microsoft Windows. I'm going to call this my local backup repository. Then I'm going to click on populate so that it shows the available disks. So it shows the C drive. I'm going to click on next. So by default, it's taking me to the backups folder, but I want to set the destination to a new folder. I'm going to click on new folder and call it Veeam backups. Click on OK. Looks good. Let's go ahead and click on next. Click on yes. Next. This should take a few seconds. Now, if you already have a local storage set up, you don't need to do these steps. Looks good. I'm going to click on apply. Now it's going to follow through a few more steps in the back end to create this backup repository. Once it completes this, the next step is to create another backup repository for the cloud storage. So let's go ahead and click finish. We're going to set this to no. We don't want the configuration backup location to be in this repository. So there you go, you see the local backup repository now. Now we're going to go back to backup infrastructure. Go to backup repo and click on add repo. This time we're going to select the object storage. We're going to select S3 compatible. We're going to call it Wasabi repo. We're going to enter the service point here. In my case, I'm going to use US East 1. Once the service point is set, you can add the credentials here, including the access key and the secret key. In my case, I've already stored them, so I'm just going to select it from the drop down box and then click Next. So, as you can see, it's connected to my Wasabi account and listed all the buckets. I already have a bucket that I'd like to use for this exercise. It's called Backup Sweam. I'm also going to create a new folder within this bucket. Let's call it Veeam Backups and select it. Click OK. Looks good. Click Next. This is going to start saving this repository. Click Finish. So there you go. So we have the local backup repository as well as the Wasabi repository now. The next step is to add the scale-out repository. So let's go ahead and click on Add Scale-out Repository. We're going to call this Wasabi SOBR for Wasabi Scale-out Backup Repo. Next, let's click on Add. And here we're going to select the local backup repository first, which we just created a few minutes back. Click on OK. Click Next. Just the default settings here. Now this is an important step. We're going to check the box which says Extend Scale-Out Backup Repo. And you can see the Wasabi repo grayed out. Once you check the box, it is available. So we're going to select that. This is going to set the Scale-Out Backup Repo to Wasabi. In my case, I'm just going to set the backup files older than setting to zero just for this test. In your case, you can set it as per your requirement. Next, click on Apply. So once again, this is going to take a few seconds while it saves the configuration and creates the scale-out backup repo. Click on Finish and it's confirmed.
The next step is to go back to the home tab and create a new backup job. Since it's a virtual machine in this case, let's call it backup job wasabi. Click next. We're going to add the virtual machine that I showed you a few minutes back. So there it is. We're going to select virtual machine Veeam ready and click on add. The size is shown, but you can click on recalculate if needed. Click on next. So another important step, we want to set the backup repo to the scale out backup repo that we just created. You can set the restore points to 14 or whatever is your requirement and then click on next. You can set the default settings here. Click Next. Now you can run the job automatically as per your schedule. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and click Apply and then check the box where it says Run the job when I click Finish and then click Finish. This is going to trigger the backup job to run instantaneously. Now this might take a minute or two depending on the size of your VM. This is Veeam writing the backup to local storage first. Remember, we need to have two active full backups before Veeam will trigger the backup to the object storage. It looks like it's almost done. We should see the status to success, soon followed by a notification. There you go. The status has changed to success. The job is finished, so we can click on OK and close this out. So that was the first backup. We can see if I go back to my C drive and the Veeam backups folder, you'll see it as backup job wasabi. If I double click on that, you can see there is a full backup available there. Now let's go back to the Veeam console and we're going to do another active full backup. This is my wasabi account. You can see that the bucket has just a Veeam folder and an archive folder within that. And you'll be able to see there is not any backup written yet. All right, let's do another active full backup. Click on yes. So again, this will take another minute or two depending on the size of your VM. It looks like it's just finished and the status is set to success. Let's click on OK. When I go back to my C drive, I can see there is another backup available now. Let's go back to the Veeam console and this time we're going to go back to the backup infrastructure tab. And under the scale out, we're going to do a right click and press the control button at the same time. This gives us the extra option to run a tiering job. Remember, if you press control and right click, you get this option. This time, it's going to start writing the backup file to the capacity tier, and this will send and offload the backup to Wasabi. It says, successful object storage repository, Veeam ready has been backed up. So let's go ahead and click on OK and go back to the Wasabi account. Let's do a refresh. There you go. So you see a backup has been uploaded and as you double click on it, it'll show the different blocks that Veeam writes. So these are the different steps you need to follow to make sure Veeam is working with Wasabi. Let's go back to the Veeam console and do a quick recap. The first thing we did was the inventory tab. This is where we had the VM that we wanted to back up. We added that. We went to the backup infrastructure tab, added the two backup repos, one for local storage and one for Wasabi. We added the service point and the credentials. And the next step was to add the scale out backup repo to tie both these backup repos together. And finally, we went back to the backup job, created a backup job to write the VM to the scale out backup repo. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.